All right, so we're back. Welcome back, guys. Justin Blends again. Let's do it. Winning with Blends. Today, we're going to get into effects, all right? I want to talk about how we can essentially explore the effects rack and see what we can do to take our mixes and our masters to the next level, whether it be individual sounds, uh, drums in a certain uh, mix channel, uh, side chaining. There's so many things we can do. Let's dive into this one I've been working on. So let's build it up right um, from where we are and just kind of see, you know, how far we can take it. All right. So it's pretty, it's, it's fairly raw. As you see right now on the master channel, there's nothing there, right? No modules added, right? Now, of course, if you guys have been following me and watching my previous videos or even watching me during live streams, you'll know that I oftentimes go with the multiband compressor for various reasons. I definitely like to check my mixes in mono. I think mono mixes are, it's, it's super important, right? Uh, to, to check your mixes in mono for so many reasons. When you're EQing, it's, it's imperative you analyze your sounds in mono. So first you'll notice that off the bat we have echo, right? So of course we're dealing with reverb and delay, which are of course in the echo category, right? Reverbs are forms of echoes, delays are clearly forms of echoes, right? Then of course we have levels, so now this is talking about the loudness of your of, of whatever it is that you're affecting. So of course we have auto duck. Now we've used auto duck in previous videos, so guys do check those out when we looked at uh, synth wave tracks. Maybe I'll link that below and maybe at the end of the video as well. Now level allows you to adjust the overall level. You can simply just turn everything down on that channel, right? Compressors, as you know, anything that comes in and reaches a certain level is going to get squished uh, or brought down to match lower levels. So that's something you want to do, for example, if you've got multiple instruments or perhaps people, if you're, if you're mixed, if you're mixing vocals, let's just say, and or doing a live stream, for example, and you've got multiple sound sources, maybe one person speaks quieter than another, well, you can add a compressor to essentially limit the maximum volume of the loudest speaker uh, to essentially bring it down to bring it closer to the maximum volume of the quieter speaker. And of course, you can apply that to music as well. Limiter, of course, is going to stop the create a limit to what sound to how loud something can be so we'll cut things off and as, as you guys know from my previous videos essentially i'm not really a huge fan of using limiters for some reasons because limiters it's not that i don't use limiters that's not what i mean i mean if you accurately and adequately compress your music in layers layer after layer compress 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 parallel compress then you know your limiters don't have to do as much right um, but limiters are still great you know especially when you're sending your songs off or your mixes off to be mastered and such you know you want to create a, a standard uh, maximum limit for that sound so i would definitely go in and compile um, compressors after compressors after compressors right distortion uh, we're not going to go into every single detail of all of them but i'm going to show you them as opposed to just speaking about them but i do want to get a bunch of them out of the way right so we talked a lot about distortion gating essentially is when the sound if, as long as the sound reaches a certain level it'll actually open up the gate and let that sound come through essentially right so if it's super quiet it won't come through and you set the levels you, th you set the thresholds yourselves we definitely touched on multi-band compressors quite a bit now we got filters of course this is all dealing with eqs as you see right stereo stereoizer spacers comb filters right delaying those sounds uh some cool effects there multi-effects is really cool in fl studio uh, mobile pro FL Studio Mobile, <laughs> because there's so many things you could do with it. As a matter of fact, let's drop, let's jump, let's drop one of these on this sound right here. Let's just see what this sound is. Let's solo this. Okay. So as you see, I've got a little bit of a multiband compression. Uh, nothing going on. Super early, like I said, guys. I'm not going to get into the full mix right now, but you know, while we do this, why not? touch this bit by bit together right so i definitely like to compress these frequencies at least just a touch and mind you a lot of these sounds in fl studio mobile are so rich already i'm going to be honest sometimes you may not even have to add any compression of course it's 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 personal it's really up to you to do whatever you want but a lot of these sounds these exports are really really solid so tight I, I gotta give it up to the image line team and everybody who's working with them uh, delivering packs because these sounds are incredible so let's just say we wanted to affect this main pulsing um bass tone the synth here 
what we could do is let's drop let's drop one of these um multi effects on right and you could see for yourselves there's so many things you could do with it there's a reverb uh there's a low pass filter high pass filter flanger right let's listen to the listen to these okay and of course you can automate all of these moves right so we'll do that later i mean why not why not as a matter of fact you know we can do that right now okay just showing you guys this live right we'll definitely dive into automation in a future video guys let me know if you want to learn more about automation and different techniques that you can use to make your mixes super incredible uh, maybe i'll even do a video on hard style kicks i definitely did a video recently but i want to take that video to another level so let me know if you guys are into hard style or raw style or london whatever you know like there's so many different styles so let's let's um take that off and listen to this let's um return this to the default okay roughly and let's listen to this let's go back and listen to what we've done with the automation and you can see right i'm not i'm not moving my mouse at all i'm not touching the screen at all right so that's how you can record automation mind you this one's not about automation i promise we'll dive into automation in due time but i couldn't help it we're already on the screen and um you know the functionality is there so why not use it right Okay, so we just added some flanger to that. Let's listen to it in the full mix. Okay. Let's go back, actually. Let's find a, a reasonable... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually undo that. It's not that I don't like it. It's just we don't need it, right? We're showing that for, for demonstration purposes. So let's add a little bit of... um Some roof reverb to that. Guys, make sure you have your headphones on, all right? Now, I love this because you can actually choose the rate at which this is processed. So you could choose, of course, per two bars, uh, two beats, four bars, uh, three eighths, you know, quarter, a half. You, you guys determine what you want, right? Okay. Let's go to two. Nice. So let's just say we love that. As I always say, let's check the next sound. Okay, that's the bass drum. Nothing's going on, no compression, nothing. Guys, this is a perfect time for us to dive into the effects rack and see exactly what we can do. So for this kick drum, I may want to add a little, of course, distortion. Uh, as you guys know, I love using distortion to bring out those harmonics to create that, um, that, that sound that's really dynamic. It's really strong, it punches through a mix. So let me bring this down to, to more of a soft one. I'm gonna crush it a little bit, you guys know my super huge fan of bit crush but we'll still use it just a touch let me add a bit more there we go can you guys know do you guys notice that leave a comment in the chats if you if you can hear these these effects you know okay let's do this a little bit of a high pass let's lower it down high bias pardon me okay so for this uh kick drum as well what i what i may want to do with it is I'm going to actually, again, we're diving into the effects rack. So why don't we create an effects auxiliary? You see that effect track, effect track auxiliary. So let's add one of those. And what we can do is we can route this particular drum. Let's actually, let's route the, um, let's move this kick drum down to be with the rest of the drums, okay? And let me put this one up here since it's not a drum so now we've got the drums all soloed for now okay so what we're going to do is we're going to send all of these to this effect track which is number 13 so why don't we just rename it and call it drums let's call it drum okay so there we go so now we've got this track this bass drum sent to the drum and now we can actually choose how much of it gets sent to the drum uh, to the drum track um, effects channel or, or or how little right as you see right here we've got that recent update and you can click x and just cancel it right away you can actually click right here watch this guys i'm going to actually send this to the drum i'm going to create another one just for demonstration purposes actually we'll use it for these other sounds so i'll put this up here and i'll send i'll send this sound 
to 14, which we haven't named yet right here. Okay, no modules on there, as you see. Hope it's not getting too confusing. If it is, let me know. Uh, for some of you who are more advanced, it's probably not at all, right? So let's send this one to 14 as well. So I'm gonna solo these as well. They're very just like little sounds that I put in here and there, right? As you see these two channels, one and two, it's really just a breath. And then this, that little doo -doo type of sound, okay? And let me see this one as well. Okay, let's leave that one out. So I want to affect these two on this effects channel. Let's just call this, um, let's call this one, let's say miscellaneous, okay? Let's call it miscellaneous, okay? Let's call it miscellaneous like that. And I'm going to actually add some reverb to this channel here. Let's do reverb two. And for now, just for now, I'm going to do, uh, a venue, um, just a quick venue uh, preset. And so let's run this, as you see. Oh, and this is not solo, pardon me, guys. There we go. Do you guys hear that reverb? Okay. So with this as well, I'm going to add some type of stereoizer. So what's gonna happen is when we come back, I'll let the loop play out and I'll actually focus more on the drums. So I'll let me solo the drum one as well. As a matter of fact, let me take off these solos. And instead of that, I will just mute the other three channels, okay? And you'll see down here, this is the bus channel, okay? This is straight for the mix. So let me solo these actually for the, just for the drums, okay? So drums are coming in here. If we wanted to, for example, filter the entire drum tracks as one, instead of individually filtering, let's say, the bass drum, filtering the snare drum, then filtering the hi-hat all individually, we could actually send them all to this one bus, which we have, this one drum effect channel, and we can apply effects right there. So let's just see one thing that we can do. Let's do some wild stuff, guys. Again, sometimes you have to break stuff. Let's add a little chorus. Maybe we'll filter things later, but just actually let's start with, let's start with, um, let's start with the parametric, e, parametric EQ and see what we can do. Let's do, let's boost the low and high. Again, I just like to use some of the defaults once in a while. Okay, and we can go in through here and we can start to mess around. Tell me if you guys notice the difference. Okay. And then I'll also add some spacer because I want this thing to be a little more open. So let's do this manually. Let's see what we can do here. Let me know if you guys can tell the difference there, okay? All right, you should hear more panning to your right. Now, if I wanted to, which I do, I'm gonna add a little distortion so I can, oh, that's really crunchy, right? But this time I'm gonna pan it to the left, okay? So I wanna fill out the left, there we go. I'm gonna crunch it a bit more. A little more low bias, okay? Now, again, like I said, we're diving into the effects channel. Let's quickly check the mix. It's kind of loud, which is all right, you know? It's linear, so we're good. Let's drop this down a bit. Let's drop these down a bit, okay? And let's actually get into the snare drum because I want to, I want to bring out more, uh, a little bit more punch, perhaps, in the snare drum. And, of course, one of my favorite things to do, as you guys know, is to add some distortion, okay? This snare drum sounds wild right now, guys. Really wild. Let's turn it down. But it's fine. Now, also, what I want to do is I already lowered the release time. I see. So that's already released. Uh, lowered. I'm going to drop the snare drum a bit. And I'm going to actually layer. No, let's not layer it. Let's, let's drop this down a touch. There we go. Okay. And for the snare drum as well. I'm going to add a bit of of uh, some type of delay. Let's see. We go. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Okay. I actually kind of like that already, but let's lower the feedback. 
I don't want there to be so much delay. And I'll lower the mix as well. Okay. Okay. Now the hi-hat is pretty okay. I think it's okay. Uh, let's dive into the hi-hat a little bit and try something a little odd here, guys. Um, we already have, let's, let's add, we've had some space in the other ones. Um, one more, one other quick thing I want to say, actually, before I dive in a little bit deeper. I love the fact that within these modules, right, you can stack sounds. Let's, let's go here. Let's go back to, actually, let's go back here and quickly check what we have with our mix right now. Our levels, our master levels is good. And again, it's linear, so it doesn't really matter that much. But, you know, good practices, right? We want to keep our things uh, fairly low in our, mix, our mixes so that we can actually ensure that we're not clipping in any way and that we can actually deliver a strong mix that has good headroom for more advanced processing right more mastering more effects more harmonics more warmth more width uh all of it guys right so let's go back to the hi-hat okay and what we're gonna do is we already lowered that let's actually solo the hi-hat okay okay i kind of like that see we've got no real compression going on here like nothing so we're not going to deal with the compression right now let's let's go into i want to try something with the perhaps the the comb filter okay so we're gonna we're gonna mess around okay actually as a matter of fact what i'll do is this let me let me delete this one and i'm going to create a new effect track okay so i want to show you guys how you can stack this stuff i want to send the hi-hat which is right here also oh i didn't even send the hi-hat to the drums here guys crazy no wonder let's send it to the drums there we go that makes sense i was wondering what was going on okay so now we got these sent to the master and the drum and the um the drum but uh track as well okay okay here we go so let's go back to the hi-hat and let's drop the levels down a bit I want to send the hi-hat as well to this new channel that we have called Effects 15. Uh, we'll, we'll figure out a name for it as well. Actually, let's call this, um, let's just call this one, uh, hmm, what are we going to call this one? Let's call it Space. Let's just call it Space for now, okay? Let's call it Space because I want to use some comb filtering, some some just different techniques to kind of bring out uh different qualities in this so let's solo this as well okay so let's quickly go through this look at what we've got here All right okay now we can also snap it so now it's locked to the tempo Right? You can manually do it by adjusting things, settings here, feedback, mix, such as such. Um, but, and look at this, right? Let's actually do snap. Okay. Okay, let's go to E. I know this is kind of odd right but i just wanted to show you guys some things that we can do now you can also go over here and you can adjust a lot here now we're going to dive into this because with the comb filter you can do a lot of cool functions with a lot of these these um plugins don't get me wrong in the effects rack you could do a lot of cool things right you can adjust the mix as you see here, it's gone completely that extra delay listen carefully guys I hope you guys can hear that we can adjust the wetness in stereo left to right right post gain as you see we can increase the volume so this is like called gain staging right where you go step by step and you adjust you make sure that you're that you're adding gain if you've taken stuff away if you've compressed your audio let's just say for example with the kick drum let's see let's go to the kick drum so the kick drum, there's no actual compression. The snare drum, there is no compression. So, but but if we did compress and we, we reduce some levels, you can actually increase those levels again that you that you took away. 
by gain staging okay so step by step you want to keep adding some gain if you're taking stuff away maybe add a little bit more okay so i kind of like that guys it's a little odd but so what you can also do quickly is this you don't have to let's go back to the hi-hat you don't even necessarily have to have this coming through the master like that you could just simply have it being let me solo these now watch this okay watch this turn off the drum so it's no longer being sent to the drum bus okay and you can adjust how much of it you want sent where so you could stack this three different ways four different ways five ways you can stack it so many different ways another beautiful thing i love about this let's just say we wanted to go to this actual drum send right here right we could actually click this and it goes right to the drums look like look over here very carefully okay yellow is the drum so if i'm over here you see i'm clearly selected i've clearly selected this drum this hi-hat now if i click drum it automatically brings me to this yellow track so it's really really super useful guys if i click this we're going to go to the master it's so useful to navigate through through uh, your, your sessions especially if you have large sessions because some of my sessions have several more tracks than this because i've got individual basses and two or three bass bass guitars in my mixes or masters or, or uh, tr tracks uh three four five ten different types of drums um, and each of them might have two or three different sends so let's go back to the melody see what we've got here again super early right let's drop these in guys and i will click save on that as well okay and Let's see if we can get this miscellaneous one up. We've got miscellaneous. This is hilarious. Uh, let's let's see. Let's see. Now I think the hi hat is a little too wild. So, and I think that the snare drum's a bit loud. Oh, so that breath is coming through much stronger now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually. Whoo! Uh, All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So what I'll do is I'm going to drop the snare drum a bit as well. And I love the fact, oh, like I was saying earlier, I interrupted myself. You can actually stack sound. So if I wanted to, let's say, click here and I wanted to insert something above this distortion or I click here and I want to add something below. So right here, it is a snare drum, right? You see that side snares? I could add another one, let's just say above, and I want to add a... Go here, synth, you see Super Saw, Direct Wave Sampler, Mini Synth, GMS, uh, Groove Machine Synth, and, and um, all the others, right? We could go here and we can actually add sounds if we wanted to. So let's just say I want the snare drum to have more snare pop. So I just added another Direct Wave Sampler, but it's, it's blank, right? But what I can do is go in here and let's just say I want to add another snare, like I said, a snare drum, right? It doesn't even have to be a snare. It could be a single note. It could be a guitar. It could be a trumpet. It could be a synth. It could be a bass hit. It could be a vocal stab, right? Every time that snare drum hits, you'll hear um, whatever instrument you decide. And you could stack this. It's incredible, right? Like I said, sometimes I have so many sounds, guys. Let's go to snares. Okay, let's try. Hear that? It's fine. I want to find a lighter snare with a little more I kind of like that okay so let's lower the sustain like I typically do and let's see if we can let's see what we can do here let's see if I can hmm let's, lower, let's raise the pitch let's do a full octave let's do okay so let's just say that um this is too loud because as you hear let's actually solo this with all these other channels actually it's just coming through the drum this is the original remember just this alone right what we can do is if we wanted to actually have this particular snare drum sound more to the left we could come here now we could just bring it more to the left okay if we wanted this drum here the new drum that we added let's just say it's too loud or whatever have you we could actually roll stuff off depending on how we're doing it oh these are off so let's do okay okay and if we think it's too loud for example we can individually we can work with each of these sounds individually we can drop the mix right there i'll bring it all the way out so you guys can hear 
and I'll slowly bring it back up. Okay, so let's just say that's a reasonable mix, which I, I, I think it is. I might also, also want to pan this a little more to the right to create more of a stereo field between the two, this uh, side snares and this attack snare 24. All of the, both of these are being triggered at the same time. So let's just click into here, right? Just with one hit in the piano roll, we're able to actually capture two sounds and we can keep stacking it. Let me just add one more, okay? Just one more. And this one is not going to be anything related to a drum sound. I'm going to bring up the 3X oscillator. Look at that. It's just a single note. Now we can go through this, dive into all this. Oh, this actually sounds kind of cool. I actually really like this, guys. It might be a little too bassy. Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe we'll, let's see what we can do. Um, let's see. Okay, let's leave it like that for now. Let's see what else we can do quickly. Oh my goodness, guys. There's so much stuff we can do here. Let's see. Okay. Um, we can adjust the tune of it. We can adjust the pan. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see what we can do quickly here. Resonance, the pitch. I kind of like this, but but it's a little too bassy for for what for the purposes, right? So let me replace it. Again, we're diving into the effects rack, so I kind of like the fact that we have this opportunity to to check things out. Uh, we can add, let's just say, let's add another drum since it is a snare drum, right? Let's try that. Let's add another snare drum, and this time, let's see. I liked the claps early, but let's see what we have. Oh. Okay. Oh. See, I like that. I like that because I want something that has a little more knock to it, right? Drop the sustain as usual. It just depends on, on the sound. It doesn't always work like that, right? And I'm going to just drop this level and, uh, you know, it's a reasonable sound. So I'm, I'm fairly content with that, okay? So now our snare drum is a little, has a little more body to it. And let's go, let's go. So the hi-hat is actually a little too wild still. Okay, snare drum's a little too wild as well. Too much uh, delay, here we go. Turn that off, let's turn the mix down a bit. And let's turn it back on. Okay, hopefully you guys are hearing that. Okay, guys, thanks for riding me with, the, with me for this one, all right? We're going in, we're just trying a lot of things, exploring the effects rack. And again, exploration, sometimes you have to break stuff, right? And sometimes you have to try things that you're not really familiar with or use them in different ways. Like, guys, how do you think stuff like, for example, hard style comes from? Where, where do you think that kind of stuff comes from? It's a lot of processing, a lot of maybe trial and error, a lot of messing about. Now, this breath is, is really strong, but... Okay, it's coming through this. So what I'm going to do is add a multiband compressor up top. So this is, again, these sounds, it's only just a few sounds coming through here. As you see, this one, this one, it's not happening so often that um, it's easy to mix live right now. I would have to be stopping and replaying, stopping, replaying to hear the sound off and on. Or I'll hit the individual notes just to check it, okay? Okay. Let's do it like this, as usual. For my initial effects, my initial compressors, I tend to do very late compressors, okay? The attack is late. I don't want it to grab that sound too hard. But I still want to, you know, add a little compression to that. So I'm hitting the, you know, the note just so I can hear it more frequently. Okay, so I've already got some separation going on here. Okay, let's go to the breath. Okay. 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 Okay, so what I'm going to do with this one is I'm definitely going to use... I like that. I might use a comb filter on this one. Ooh, that's actually a bit much. Let's see if we can do something wide. Maybe that one. Let's try it. Let's go back. Let's go back in the mix, guys. Here we go. Ooh, that's kind of odd. Let's see. Ping pong. Okay, maybe not. 
but we can again we can automate all of this all you do is press record and start moving anything guys like literally virtually anything i don't want to say literally anything but virtually anything can be affected here so what i'm going to do i'm going to use some stereoizer let's actually zoom out a bit let's close this down and let's go right back here again press back and play it'll go to the last place you stopped at okay let's do some stereoizer and I want to I want it to come to the left first so let's see what we can do here let's delay the right let's see what we can do here okay okay this one's actually maybe I'll replace this with a spacer okay this sound already has uh, quite a bit of, there we go. Wow. Yeah, this one already, this one already does a lot. So what I'll do then, if I'm not pleased with the, the way that spaces it out, one, I might use distortion and separate more with the distortion as you guys have seen me do many times in previous videos, right? Separate with distortion. I may use the reverb two and separate with reverb two as well. You can of course get some panning in reverb two, which is beautiful and distortion, but I may actually go to the multi effects here, okay? And go to pen and just see what we can do here, okay? There we go. Let's see what let's listen to that. Let's go back here, okay? So I know it might be a little difficult here, but you guys, I'm sure you can it, I'll take it off and you can listen for yourselves. Let me solo that right here. Okay. And now here I'll put it back on. There we go. Let me drop this back again. Here we go. You ready? Now it's on, so it's hitting the left side more. The distance is pretty wide, let's take it off. That's the original, okay? So, let's, how it, let's listen to how it sounds in the mix. So it's a little too far to the left, I think. There we go, I'm, I'm content with that, okay? Let's check our, our main master. Okay, so the main master, uh, I might just grab a, a one of these you know just a plain old compressor and i'm going to drop the threshold a bit okay now sometimes i do put the auto gain on sometimes i do put it off it depends oftentimes i do like it to be off because i want to manually adjust my levels but it depends it really depends right so um it depends on what you guys want so let's up the ratio okay let's put the ratio to the super earliest okay and there you go we just want to grab a little bit of that maybe minus three minus four minus five at most uh for my compressors i really don't like uh compressing seven ten dps at one time i'm i'm very minimal with my compressors one two maybe three decibels for me personally um because i like to stack i like to stack i like to stack i like to have many effects buses um effects channels effects tracks and send my different instruments through them and let me go over here so you can see what i'm referring to i know you saw it but just while I'm speaking like this, and I may have three or four, depending on the song, depending on the instrument, depending on the vocal. And I may layer these, stack them, um, and create essentially, you know, if the way I look at it is like this. If you have a, if it's a live event, let's just say, for example, right? And everybody's playing their instruments and they're all plugged in, DI and this and that, the sound is still coming through the main set of speakers, right? Or the main, um, uh, just just coming out off this from the instruments themselves so all of the sounds are being affected by the room and by essentially some of the same acoustics no matter what whether it's a guitar plugged in through these different um, pedals it's still coming out of the of the speakers and it's still essentially being affected by the room and other acoustics like I said so I like to have almost everything sometimes running through some of the same effects so that we can get that uh, unified sound okay so let's let's go down here and let's go to this sound i have to really work on this one here this one here right now it's not sent anywhere so let's just send it to the space one and let's go to space so what i'll do actually for this one i'm going to add this uh oh i'm going to add this above add a 
did I click add above? Let's click add above. I did. And let's add an auto duck. Okay, let's go back again. I'll leave this on too. And I'll send this to the space as well. Again, this is just... Okay, I'm going to go back here. Sorry, go down here and add my auto duck. I wanted to have that duck effect. That auto duck sidechain kind of pumping effect on this one. A little more, which it already has, but... Let's change the curve and uh, there we go. I hope you guys can tell the difference. Let me go back so you can hear for yourselves. So this, this is it without auto duck. And this is it with auto duck. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, now I love the, I love this. You can shift it, right? Okay, so let's bring this whole thing back in. Let's see what we've got so far. Okay. That do, do, do. It's got a little too much reverb. So let's check where it's going to. It's going to miscellaneous. Let's check miscellaneous. And miscellaneous has got reverb, as you see. So let's drop that reverb down. And we'll get into some of this a little bit later. Uh, what I mean is, we'll get into some of this a little bit later. We'll get into some of the... Um, the EQ of this particular thing in a minute or the kind of just like this, the room diffusion, uh, the tune as well. But for now, let's just say we're, we're, we're more or less okay with it. Okay, so uh, let's see what else we could touch as one final thing. We've already gone over tuned EQ many times. Of course, I would definitely EQ everything, right? So a little boxy, right? But the London styles might like that though. A little too much there. Let's add some to 200-ish area, 250-ish area. Okay. And let's add a little bit of the low end. Check our levels as well. Make sure that we're looking okay. So that we're pushing a bit up. That's okay. Let's drop that. And I might actually... And that's the... Okay. And let's see if we could touch one more. Let's see if we could touch one more, right? Before we wrap up. Okay, so... <clears throat> We've got, um, we've got, let's see here. Let's go back here again. Cause I want to still, let me start right here. I want to work on this area here. Okay. And it's pretty decent, but I'm not super satisfied with this one. So I like the auto duck. I got some auto duck as you see already done from before, but I think I want to add a little bit of chorus to this one. Okay. Let's see if we can add a little chorus. Let's go to slow defaults. Okay, give it a little bit more motion. Okay, let me save that as well, guys. Uh, I like to save, but the beautiful thing about FL Studio Mobile is that when if your system crashes or you name it, whatever happens, you forget to save, you come back next time you relaunch, it will resume where you left off. So now you have a second chance to press save. I can't count the amount of times it happened when I was working before bed, maybe even in bed, and I maybe, maybe I may have actually fallen asleep mid-mix, mid-production, and I woke up and I'm so thankful that I still have the chance to press save, right? Oh, the battery dies, all sorts of things. So listen to this. We're going to actually drop these, um, go to go to drum. And we're going to, no, sorry, not drum. Is it is it space? Give me a second. Space. Let's, no, is it space? We've got so much going on. Let's go this one. Oh, it's a snare drum. I see. Let's drop the snare drum. Yeah, it's a snare drum. Okay, so the snare drum is sent to... Uh, there we go. Tape delay. Yeah, the delay is still too much for me. You hear that? It's still a bit much for me, so I'll drop that down. Okay, so guys, look. I think um, I think I've already essentially gone through a lot. There's still some more that we'll touch in the future. I assure you, there's so many more. Uh, we haven't touched the flanger uh, much at all. We haven't touched the phaser. We haven't touched the tuner, um, even the pitcher. So maybe we'll save those for another time. Guys, look, I appreciate you checking this one out again. Of course, winning with blends. Let's get into it for next time. And of course, if you like what you're hearing, subscribe. Hit the bell notification, um, you know, everything, guys. Like the videos, tell a friend, and, you know, all the best, guys. Take it easy, all right?